In this screencast, I'm going to show you basic motion editing using Motion Bend. First of all, let's open a video. And click on Analyze. The analysis is quite fast, but let's skip forward. After analyzing the video, Motion Bend generates these two graphs to visualize the camera motion. These allow you to see at a glance when the camera moved and the type of motion. The top graph represents the horizontal motion. As the camera moves left, the line moves up, and if the camera moved right, the line would move down. The bottom graph represents the vertical motion. In this clip, there wasn't much vertical motion, so the line is flat. The scale lines help you to see how much the camera moved. If you look closely, you can see that there are two lines plotted. The white line represents actual camera motion, and the yellow line represents the processed motion. The red lines, with the triangles underneath, show the start of a new motion event. So these can be adjusted, and as you can see, the graph changes as you move. If you click on a motion event to select it, you can then go over to the local correction section to modify the parameters. The first event is set to type hold. I can change the start position, and as I change it, you can see the graph also changes. This second section is set to type linear. I can change the number of frames for acceleration. Again, you can see how this affects the graph. I can add events by moving the current frame slider and then using this context menu and select add event. I can also delete an event by selecting it and using delete from the context menu. Now suppose I want to change this horizontal motion. I don't like the pause at the start of the video and I just want the camera to immediately start moving. I'm going to clear all the events on the horizontal axis and now we have only the smoothed motion. There is only one horizontal event I'll select it, change the type to linear, and now I'm going to set the acceleration to zero frames. As you can see, we've removed the pause from the start of the video.